Okay, everybody, hello. Um, it's a pleasure to be here with you tonight in this class. So I hope you had a very nice Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, which is very, very good. And also remember that for this uh, Saturday and Sunday, we need to finish all the platforms. So it's a very good chance for you to to start okay and also remember that we're going to we're going to do the uh, survey from INSA for this uh, Monday that is our last class perfect so let's check the attendance see most of you are here Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Presente. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Present. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avelés Rivera. Sandra Janira Gómez Romero. Presente, Chef. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Chef. Very good. Perfect. So, let's start the class. And... Uh, Let's check about some English pronunciation. So this is a little video. Uh, so you check about the ER pronunciation. Check it out and then let me know what you, if you have any comments or uh, opinions about the video. So here we go. American In this American English pronunciation video, we're going to go over how to pronounce the ER ending of words. Today we're talking about word stress and ER ending words that are two or more syllables. The ER ending will always be unstressed, so it will be lower in pitch and quicker than the stressed syllable in the word. For example, father, father, father. I'm sure you can hear the big, small contrast. So the stressed syllable will have shape in it, but the unstressed er, er, will be very flat, er, and low in pitch, father. This ending is written in IPA with the schwa and the American R symbols. But you definitely don't want to make a separate schwa sound. Er, er. It's just one sound. Er, er. Let's look at a few more example words. Louder. Loud, er. Louder. Further. Firth, er. Firth, er. Further. Sister. Sist, er. Sist, er. Sister. Computer. Compute, er. Computer. Ever. Ev, er, ever, over, ove, er, 
over. Singer. Sing er. Singer. So don't forget when you see this ER ending to make it nice and short with just the er sound in it. No other vowel, no shape. It's a very flat, quick, low sound. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. Okay, what did you get from the video? It's important, teacher, uh, the pronunciation, the correct pronunciation for confusing the listening in the no pronunciation correct is the another worst difference for the idea. That is true. So the pronunciation is very, very important in English because of that, because exactly what you say. If you say something incorrect, the other person is not going to understand. Definitely. It's yes. not going to understand. Good. Any other comments on the video? But we have to use a pencil uh, under the tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably that would be a very good idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, really, uh, the problem that uh, us problem is in the Spanish language is that we use uh, no use the the, the different. Uh, accent is correct. Accent, yeah, accent, yeah. We uh, our form to speak is uh, more more simple than the the form that the uh, the English in another language. For example, the French. Uh, uh, for me, is more more easy the pronunciation of French than the English. The English uh, one uh, one letter is uh, uh, we use a word uh, that is similar with another word, but the pronunciation is very different, and that mm, sometimes is complicated for a correct pronunciation. Uh, well, actually, uh, all the languages, they have different challenges, right? In Spanish, Spanish is difficult. Grammar in Spanish is, is very difficult. I mean, uh, you say, yo voy, ella va, nosotros vamos. In English, you say, I go, she goes, and that's it, right? Two words. So, uh, but there are other situations that are difficult in English for us. On pronunciation, for example, yes. There are some challenges, uh, but if we practice, of course, and this kind of videos, you can find these videos on YouTube if you want to, to improve your English, if you want to speak better, if you want to speak more fluent, if you want to learn grammar, there are lots of resources. So I know that uh, once we finish this Monday, probably we, we're going to have a long vacation, right? So, uh, but if you have the time, it's a very good idea to look for resources, right? Um, I believe it's also very important to analyze what is my biggest challenge because there are different skills, right? Speak, of course, is one of the biggest, listening, writing, uh, and identify what are the things that I, I are more difficult for me, phrasal verbs, or a pronunciation and look for exercises like that. If you practice, if you continue practicing, if you do a little bit more uh, than only the class, of course, everything is going to be improved. Sometimes you need only 15 minutes, 10 minutes to practice uh, and that is good enough. You do that every day and you focus on exactly what you need to improve, then uh, you are going to you're going to speak better English, definitely. Good, so let's continue with the book. So, 
it says uh, unit four inventory. I will be able to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. And uh, the first question is, how do companies keep their inventory count accurate? That is actually very difficult. So what do you believe companies do in this kind of situations? So what are strategies for companies to have uh, an accurate count of their items? Well, there are many strategies for that one actually. I mean, uh, counting manually is always the best solution and label them, uh, have uh, scanners for that situation and have a very good system. I believe that is the best option. But that depends, of course, if you go uh, to a place where they sell lots of products, it's very difficult, the counting of the objects. All right, so let's check the conversation here. It says, Steve and Anna are trying to find out the location of two products they've received in their warehouse. Take turns practicing the composition. As usual, I'm going to say uh, the pronunciation, then you ask, and then we practice, and then we check the vocabulary. So it says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden blanks, but I can't find them. Any. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems that the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, so do you have any pronunciation questions? Yes, teacher. And second line, wooden. Wooden plank. Wooden. Wooden. Wooden, wooden plank. Wooden, wooden plank. Okay. okay. Any other pronunciation questions? Wooden plank. Okay. Wooden plank. Last line, brown duck. Uh, brown duck, yeah, brown duck. duck. Okay, brown duck, thank you. Okay. Any other pronunciation questions? Okay, let's practice then. So uh, let's start with Rene, Molina, and Sandra Gomez. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I am start. Okay. Uh, it say here and in uh, inventory that we have 200 wooden plus Planks. Planks. But I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea 
where I could find them. Your microphone is. Yes, I am. I am. Hello, are you listening? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two hundred gold plan. I remember we got an orden or for a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. Hello. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> the other was from the people who manufacture tables. By the by the way, the manager is also asking for a great great of electronic de devices. Devices. Devices delivered from China a week. A, Week ago, but I can't find them either. 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 Sorry. I see the problem. The 200 wooden bars were recorded as 20 wooden plants. And I say, I think the crowd was placed in the ground. Very good, perfect, thank you. So, uh, Roberto Carlos. Um, Jose Alfredo, is it possible for you? Not possible. So, Juan Roberto and Roberto Carlos. Hey. I... Oh, okay. wanna... You wanna start? Okay, I'll start. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any, any idea where I could find them? Find them? 200 wooden planks. Uh, I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can, <clears throat> can find Finn. Uh, any record here? The order was from the people who manufacture the tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a, for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. 200 wooden, uh, wooden words were recorded uh, as 20. 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong, wrong duck. All right, very good, perfect, thank you. So the next one is Ana Hernandez and uh, Maria Julia. Okay, yes, I am still. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks but I can't find, find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I can find them? Two, 200 wooden plank. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was, was from the people who manufacture table. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate uh, of electronic device delivered from China week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden board were re recorded has 20 wooden plank. And it seemed the create what's placed in the wrong Dutch. Very good, perfect, thank you. So uh, let's see. 
Uh, who else is missing? Uh, Jonathan, is it possible for you? Not possible. Uh, Silvia, Patricia, is it possible for you? Not. Uh, Veronica, Elizabeth, is it possible for you? Monica Avalos, is it possible for you? Mauricio <laughs> Rivera, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. You and uh, Blanca. Ah, Blanca, I don't know if it's possible for you. Is it possible for you, Blanca? Yes. Okay, Blanca, you. go ahead. Steven, okay. it says it says here in the inventory that we have two hundred wonder plants, but I can't I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Anna, two hundred wonder plants. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if uh, I can see any uh, record here. Okay, I believe that is the part for Monica. So Monica, could you please continue? You okay. 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if can find any record here. The order, the order, uh, was from was from the people who manufactured tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden birds were re recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the ground duck. All right, perfect. Thank you. Osea, is it possible for you? Yes. Okay, and Ramiro, is it possible for you, Ramiro? Maybe not possible. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oseas and Rene Molina. Can you please help Oseas. Very good. Okay. Okay. I'm going Osea, to... you start. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plants, but I can find them anywhere. Do you have an idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can we find I can find any records here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crave of Alex, of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find him finding either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards we were record, recorded as 20 wooden planks. And I, it seems that great is great was placed in the work dock. Okay, good, very good. So uh, very interesting. There are some words that we can check here. So, uh, wooden, wooden plants. Do you know what is that? Okay. Wooden de madera. Every time that you see wooden is de madera. And planks, tablas, tabla de madera. Uh, anywhere, what is anywhere?
No, cualquiera, no. En ninguna parte. Ah, en ninguna parte. Uh, anywhere, o en cualquier parte, something like that. Good. Uh, let's see. What is manufacturer? ¿Cómo manufacturar? El fabricante. Let's see. Um, crate. What is crate? It's caja. Caja. Very good. It's like a box, but it's a big box, sometimes made of wood. So that is a crate. Uh, what is devices? Dispositivos. Dispositivos, very good. Uh, let's see. Either. What is either? Tampoco. Otros, ninguno. Yes. Uh, if the sentence is negative like this, this is tampoco. If the sentence is affirmative, it's también. So depending on that one, right? Uh, wooden boards. What is wooden boards? I don't know. Okay, wooden boards is como también unas tablas, pero son tablas más anchas. Las otras son más delgadas. Una tabla normal. En cambio, una board es una tabla de esas grandotas, como para poner de pared o algo por el estilo. Ok. And the round duck. Do you remember what is the duck? Puerto. Very good. Como un puerto. Nice. Very good. So, Let's do the exercise uh, one. Uh, this is according to the conversation. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to find the answers and then we're going to check, okay? Okay, let's check. So, what item is Steve looking for? So, what item is Steve looking for? Wooden planks. Very good. The 200 wooden planks. Mind that. <laughs> to lose that one is not good. Uh, who placed an order for wooden boards? Ah, good. Who placed an order for the wooden boards? Uh, 
People who manufacture tables. Very good. The people who manufacture tables, they place the order. And the last one says, why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Why was the reason that Steve was not able to find the items in the warehouse? Anybody? In the duck. Uh, well, that is part of the answer, yes. The answer is the 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden plants, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, so there are there were some errors in the classification when they entered that into the, into the system. So that is a very common error that happens in this kind of situations. It's not good, it's not correct, it causes an impact to the company, but happens, happens. Sometimes somebody scans something or enter uh, on the system something that was not good. And then when other person comes and look for what the system says in the warehouse, they cannot find it because it's not correct, right? The problem here, I mean, here in the example is what it was very easy. The solution of it, you say, see, I see the problem, here is the problem, right? But in the real life, sometimes that is a big, a big issue, a big mistake, right? So, and it's not easy to find the solution for these kind of things. All right, these videos we checked that already. And let's check a little bit of grammar, how to use suffixes uh this is a nice one let's see uh juan could you please help me reading this chart mm -hmm. okay how they use suff suffixes uh suffix is a letter or group of letters added at the end of a word which makes a new word the new word is most often a different word category from the original word. Noun suffixes uh, makes make a verb into a noun, add er, ear, or to the ending of a verb to make a noun. In this case, the nouns are the names we use to designate people's occupation or labor. And uh, and uh, verb manufacture supply, distribute, manage, retail, wholesale, and sell. And in the other part, noun, manufacturer, supplier, distributor, manager, retailer, wholesaler, and seller. Very good, perfect, thank you. So this is very simple, right? A prefix is when it goes at the beginning, and a suffix is when it goes at the end. So you add, some letters at the end of a word, and then that word transforms into a new word, okay? Very often from a different category. So for example, uh, we can add E-R, I-E-R, O-R, to the ending of a verb to make a noun. Imagine that is like magic, right? So you have a verb, and if you add, two, three letters at the end of the verb, you transform the verb into a noun. So that is it, it's very simple. For example, manufacture is a verb, but if you add ER, is manufacturer is a noun. Supply transforms into supplier, distribute transforms into distributor, manage transforms into manager, 
retail transforms into retailer, wholesale transforms into wholesaler, and sell transforms into seller. Good. Uh, do you have any questions about this part of the grammar? Okay, so let's do the exercise. Here is the exercise. It says, circle the correct word, check answers with a classmate. I'm gonna give you a few minutes for you to check into that one and circle the answer, okay? Quiero que se me la Audífono. La tía. Sí, encontré ese viejito que no hace mucho espacio. Ay, ahora que me olviden cosas. Okay, so let's check the number one. Who wants to share the number one? The employees want the manager to organize the inventory. Very good. The employees want the manager to organize the inventory. Perfect. Who wants to share number two? They distribute the products all around the country. Perfect. Very good. They distribute the products all around the country. Number three, who wants to share number three? Inventory can provide resources to the manufacturers. Perfect. Inventory counts provide reassurance to the manufacturers. And number four. The accuracy of the inventory can influence the stop required by retail. Okay. So the accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by a a retailer store, retail store, actually. Yeah, retail store. Very good. Number five, who wants to share number five? Uh, 
the supplier needs used to keep track of how much products is left. Very good. The supplier needs us to keep track of how much product is left. Nice. As you can see, it's very easy. I believe this is not difficult, but we need to be careful anyways, right? Um, let me see. Inventory counts. Do you know what is inventory counts? Counts. Contabilizar el inventario. Something like that. Very good. So this is something that companies, they do uh, once or twice or thrice a year. So in the inventory in the system says that you have a hundred shirts, for example. So you go and count the inventory. So that is an inventory count. Um, it's uh, very necessary for many companies to do that one. What is reassurance? Seguridad is algo así. Asegurar. Very good. Asegurar. Nice. And the other one is to keep track. What is to keep track? Mantener, uh, no sé, el, el track. Como okay. la... Uh -huh. no, no sé, el track, ¿en qué se usaría ahí? Track, no track Ajá, es como mantener un registro, something like that, one, right? Algo así va. Yeah. Very me acuerdo, I remember the music, track uno, track dos. Track yeah. Three. Yeah, that is it, that is it. So uh, it's, it's kind of similar, but uh, it's going to be something like that. The good is the, uh, about this word, sometimes what happens is that this word is something that we use in Spanish, right? So we don't translate it. The, the, no. the kit is the, the songs famous, the Bon Jovi, Keep the Faith. Yeah, I, I don't know, Keep the Faith. That was Mantén la fe. Yeah. Keep the Faith. <laughs> Very good, nice. All oh, right, so we're going to check to the other one. It says, number of steps for a simple counting program. Compare with another pair. And uh, this is what we need to do is to put in order. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, all the steps that we have here. I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check into that one, okay?
Okay, so let's check the exercise. The number one is select 200 items, parts, products, finished goods from your inventory for week one. What do you believe is the second step? Accurately count and record all items. Okay, that it might be the second step. Accurately count and record all items. And what will be the next one? Number three. Anybody? Okay, so let's work uh, together on that one. The first one is select 200 items, parts, products, finished goods from your inventory for week. Uh, probably the number two is divide items into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. Because in that way you are going to count, right? The number three is uh, accurately count and record all items, okay? And then uh, number four, it could be select another 200 parts, products, finished goods from your inventory for week two. And then uh, it could be, let me just check, uh, keep, keep track. Keep, uh -huh. keep track of daily occurring variant best person. Very good. Keep track of daily accuracy variance percentages. Uh, keep checking until accuracy. Uh, well, uh, the other one is localized cause of errors and correct inventory record. And the last one, keep checking until accuracy exceeds 90% for a minimum of two weeks. So that would be a, a very good example on uh, counting, a counting program in a warehouse. Uh, that depends on the on the the way that you do it. For example, there are some companies like factories that they do is they take two or three days and they count everything, everything. And they check what is the variance between what the system says that you have and what you really count. So uh, they close operations and they start counting. The one that we have here in the book is something that you can do every month, every quarter, uh, so you analyze if everything is fine. And for this one, you don't count uh, all of it. You count only uh, some samples. That's what you do. But there are many ways of you to count them. That, of course, that depends on how important it is for you to count the products, uh, or also how is the rotation of the inventory. Also, it's important uh, how many uh, products you have, right? For example, if you have 30,000 products, it's very difficult to do this every week, every month, right? So, but it's needed to be done. It's something that definitely has to be done. Uh, let's check some vocabulary here, just to check if everybody has checked out. Uh, variance percentage. What is variance percentages? Variation percentual. Very good. Perfect. And let's see another. What is finished goods? Producto terminado. Mm. Very good. I don't see any other. Do you have any questions here? Accurately. Accurately. Very good. Uh, accurately, it comes from accuracy. Do you remember what is accuracy? No. Okay. Accuracy. Accuracy is algo exact, algo bien, 
a la medida. Y este es un adverbio que termina en el guay, entonces es mente. Es como Exactitud. precisamente. Ajá. Ah, ah. Exactamente. Exacto. Pues, so, so, very good. Any other questions on this? All right, so let's go to the next exercise. Rank the benefits of implementing a cycle count program, mm -hmm. okay? One is the most important and five is the least important. So, so uh, and of course, we're going to compare. Check the vocabulary, check the other parts so we can see what will be the solution. Uh, I will give you a few minutes on this one as well for you to finish the, the exercise, okay? So check it out.
Okay, so let's check it out. A uh, cycle compound eventually occurs because it's a technique where eventually is counted on a cyclic schedule rather than once a year. The following are some of its advantages. So which one do you believe is the most important, the number one? Um, I know. Uh, for me, number one is a uh, reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organization culture. Very good. Reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organization culture. That is very because I mean, if everybody is aware that accuracy is important then you don't have to go and count. Everything is going to be in good conditions all the time. All right, that is number one. What is number two in your opinion, everybody? Mm. Any other? Person that wants to share number two helps no. identify and correct receiving shall be in order in packing, labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors. That is very important as well. Yeah, because uh, when you count, you identify where is the error so you can correct the processes. So this is one of the most important efforts. Very good. What about number three? Who wants to share number three? A general focus uh, on continuous improvement, improvement at the organis organizational level. Very good. A general focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level is, I mean, you always want to improve. You always want to be better because remember that if you are better, probably you are going to avoid wasting money or uh, getting more uh, profit, right? So that is the most important companies right now. What about number four? Who wants to tell me what would be number four? General yeah, focus on continuous improvement, the organization level. Okay, generate focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. Also very important because it has to be not just the warehouse, everybody has to be active. So the last one, it has to be raises productivity and efficiency through more accurate data, leading to reduced operational and inventory carry costs. Nice. So let's check some words here. What is cycle? Ciclo. Un ciclo. Very good. Un ciclo. What is, let me see. Schedule. Do you remember what is schedule? Es un horario. Oh. Horario. Very good. Uh, let me see what else. What is continuous improvement? Mejora continua. Mejora continua. Very good. That is it. Very important this part. What is supply chain operations? La cadena de operaciones, algo así. La operación de cadena de suministros, something like that. All right. What is, <laughs> okay. What is shelving? Oh, okay. Shelving es como poner en los estantes la, la manera en que se ordena los estantes algo. And they see what else. Well, I don't see any other. Uh, do you have any questions here? Oh, carry costs. What is carry costs? 
Eh, costos de acarreo, costos de manejar el estadio. Este, carry, este carry. Ah, go ahead. Eh, eh, is similar to carry on. Yeah. Is to have to relation. It's the same word, yeah. It's exactly the okay. same word. Okay. Very good, very good. All right. Um, okay, this is cycle come program. Uh, probably we're not going to do that one, okay? Uh, but we're going to do something else. Let me just check here. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find that in the presentation. Let's see. Let me just look for that, hold on. Was well, at the very beginning, I guess. Let's use this, okay? So we're going to do an activity that is a little bit different. So we're going to try to practice a little bit of uh, fluency. So we have here to, uh, to paradise, but we're going to use the first one only, okay? So this is what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to try to read the first paragraph as fast as you can, very fast, okay? As fast as you can, okay? For example, you can say something like, we're telling a set of business activity that adds value to the products and services sold to consumers to the personal and family use. Ah, very easy. Piece of cake. Do you know what is piece of cake? Yes. <laughs> Pan comido. Igualito, Pan. le vamos a hacer. Ya a verle, oh, igualito. Oh, así mismo, así como el teacher lo dijo. <laughs> very easy. This is not difficult at all. So. <laughs> okay, so I will give you one or two minutes for you to practice in your mind. Practice with the microphone off, and then you are going to tell to the class as fast as you can, okay? Everybody's going to read exactly the same uh, pattern. So I will give you uh, one, two, three minutes for you to practice, and then uh, we're going to do it, okay? If you have questions about uh, pronunciation, of course, tell me. It's a value, right? Value. Value, value, value. Value, yeah.
after after this exercise coming the, the dictation the dictation do you want a dictation i is interested in the exercise of course we can do that one yeah i have prepared that one already so we can do it today or tomorrow let's see what happens with the time okay are you ready or do you need more time to practice Okay, I want to listen. Ah, ah, let's see how it goes. Okay, the first person to say the paragraph is Sandra Gomez. What? Me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are the selected one. Okay, retaining a set of business activities that are valued to the product and service of the customer for their personal or family use. Very and tailoring good. business that show product and or service to customer for personal or family use. Amazing. Very Based. good. Okay. <laughs> you see that you can do it, right? Very nice. Very good. Perfect. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> okay. Now we're going to listen to Rene Molina. I show that Johnny Walker and that's it. Yes. Return a set of business activity that adds value to the products and service sold to consumer for their personal or family use. Very good. That it was very fast. You can see. It's, yes. You can do it. And the pronunciation was very good. Nice. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to listen to Roberto Carlos. Let me is. It's past my my tongue. Okay. Okay. Uh, a set of business activities sold to consumers for the personal or family use. A retailer is a business that sells products and or service to consumer for for personal or family use. Okay. Very good. Very nice. Very fast, and the pronunciation was also very good. Perfect. That's good. Uh, Jose Alfredo, is it possible for you? I guess it's not possible. Uh, Juan Roberto, this is your chance of trying. Okay, retailing. As ever, business that adds value to the products and services of the goods. Very good, perfect, very fast. You can see that uh, it's not difficult, you know, it's not difficult to do this kind of thing. Good, nice, very fast and very, very the pronunciation was very good. Uh, what about Maria Julia? Retailing a set of business activity that have a value to the product and, and service sold to consumers for their personal or family use. Very good. It's a business in, it's a business in that sells to product and or services to consumer for the personal or family use. Very good, nice, very fast, very good. So let's go now with Ana Hernandez. Hello, Ana. She is buying proposals, maybe, because she's not here. All right. Let's see Aida Lopez. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you can do okay, it. Okay, here we go. Um, retailing a set of business activity that add value to the products and services sold to customers for their personal or family use. The second one as well? Uh, if you want, of course. Okay. A retailer is a business that sells the products and or service to the customer for personal or family use. Very oh. good. Perfect. See, very easy piece of cake. <laughs> very fast and nice pronunciation. What about Jonathan Ariel? Not possible for Jonathan. What about Silvia Patricia? Not possible. 
Bu arada... Excuse me, excuse ah, okay. me, teacher. Uh, okay. What is retailing? Retailing a set of business activities that add value of the, the to the products and service sold to customer for their personal or family use. A retailer is a business that sells products and or service to customer for personal or family use. Okay, very good, very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Veronica Elizabeth. I guess it's not possible for her. All right. What about Monica Avalos? Not possible. Mauricio Rivera? Not possible. Uh, Blanca Tunaka? Yes. Okay. Retailing, a set of business activity that adds value to the product and service sold to consumers for their personal or family use. A retailer is a business that sells products and or services to consumers for personal or family use. Very good. Perfect. Nice. That was very good. Uh, Mauricio Rivera? Not possible. O sea, Okay, retailing, a set of business activities that adds value to the products and services sold to consumers for their personal or family use. A retailer is a business that sells products and or services to consumers for personal or family use. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Uh, Ramiro, is it possible for you, Ramiro? Yes, teacher. Okay. What is retailing? Retailing a set of businesses, activities that add value of the product and service sold to consumer the, for their personal or family use. A retailer is a business, business that sells products and or service to customer for personal or family use. Okay, very good. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so you see that it's a a uh, very easy activity that we can use. I mean, this is something that everybody can do uh, to practice a little bit of fluence. It's very important, not only the speed, it's important the pronunciation, because I mean, it has to be understandable, right? You can speak very fast, but the other person, they can, uh, they can help you. I mean, they can understand you. If they can't understand you, is it, it doesn't it doesn't work another exercise that we do sometimes in the advance if we see each other in the advance is that you are going to say a piece of news have you seen the news in english they speak very fast right? hey you know what happens in the north they, they speak very good so we can listen to that kind of uh, videos so you for first of all try to understand what they say because uh, on the news what is very interesting is that they speak about many things. I mean, sometimes they speak about war, sometimes they speak about health, sometimes they speak about politics. Uh, I don't know, many things. So vocabulary is very rich uh, in, the, in the news. And another thing is that uh, they, they speak very fast. So the first exercise is to listen to the news and try to understand what they say, right? And the second one is try to say the news the way that they say. Try to watch a video and maybe try to say the words uh, in the way that they say. So this is a, these are very good activities that everybody can do. And uh, in my, I mean, for example, that people, the, the people in the news, uh, you know that they see a prompter, right? They don't know the words. They are in front of you, very nice with the street, uh, but they are reading. The only thing that they are doing is reading. Sometimes, of course, if they are in an interview, sometimes they speak different, right? But when they are saying the news, they are there in front of you reading. And that's the only thing that they do. Good, good exercise. So please uh, replicate that one in your practice of English. 
And now we're going to uh, have a practice, practice, individual practices for uh, everybody. Let's see. I believe that we have time to speak with. Maybe not everybody, but with the most of you. It's going to be individual practice. Let me just check something here. This is it. All right. I was just checking something. All right. So let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Maria Julia. Okay. I see. Hello, how are you? Uh, fine. Very, very fine. Very good. This, I, I'm very happy to listen to that. So uh, tell me, what do you do? Um, uh huh. Uh huh. Se me fue. Para donde? <laughs> what do you do uh, is the profession what do you do for work I I, I am accounting accounting very good accountant uh, and uh, let me ask you something what is the best Christmas present that you have ever received? What is the best? Um, mm, my Christmas best is a, is a, I start a, a visit my family. It's a, a star is a, my daughters, my my boys, uh, my friend is a is a is a beautiful is a uh, I start a, for for family. Uh, so that was a present for Christmas to visit your family. Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. It's a best. It's a best Christmas. It's a I for my family. With your family, okay, very good. Uh, when's your birthday? The, excuse me. Yeah, when's your birthday? Ah, uh, it's um the my a fifteenth. May fifteenth. Yeah. Mm, okay, so it seems that you wear a, a, a gift for Mother's Day. Uh, one, one gift for, for today. Uh, the, uh, for the Mother's Day, the Mother's Day, my birthday, um, the accounting is a, uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> very good. Um, have you ever ridden a camel? You reading? Have you uh, ever ridden a camel? No, 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 no. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, Maria Julia. Very good starting. Okay, thank you. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to speak with, let's see, Juan Roberto. Okay, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm very well. I'm very nice because today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday. Nice. So it's good to wait for the for the um, weekend and also uh, also we are waiting for the Christmas bonus, right? So that is something that everybody's looking for. <laughs> uh, what do you do, Juan Roberto? 
Well, uh, actually, I'm budget manager. Oh my goodness! So you really like numbers? Yeah, is is my career. So you are an accountant? Mm, yeah, yes, yeah. Um, I'm only. Uh, I'm just and graduate the next year. Ah, very good. Congratulations, Johnny Walker. You know that is for the celebration. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, so speaking about budgeting. Uh, what is a healthy variance between what you forecast and what is the real budget? Mm, well, I'm in the in the public sector, uh, but in this case, I don't know. I don't know how to relationate. Yeah, I mean that. I know that in budgeting is very important the forecast, right? What you uh, prevent that is going to be the expenses. So imagine that you say uh, we're going to spend one million dollars, for example, uh, but then uh, the government spends actually spends uh, two million dollars. So I believe that that is too much. The the variance, the difference is too much. So the question is, what is a healthy difference? I know that it's not exact. But what is a good percentage that you say this is good? Mm, okay, let me see. Mm, uh, if we if we compare with ingresos y egresos, uh, or oh. algo así. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, about forecasting. Do you remember what is forecast? Mm, pronosticos yeah. uh -huh. so you do a, a forecast of what you are going to spend right and then is the real expenses so oh, my question okay. uh -huh. so um, what is a healthy difference between one and the other well I think that in practice uh, I'll, um, I'm important, um, um, percentage is um, 70% 70% of accuracy. Yeah. Oh, that is a very nice margin. But it's not that big. Uh, there is a lot of variables, uh, like uh, the the taxes per perceived, uh, bueno, eh, los, los impuestos percibidos, eh, los ingresos propios de la institución, en este caso la autónoma. Uh, there is a lot of, of, of variables. Variables, creo que, ¿cómo se dice variable? Variables, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a question. Maybe you don't know the answer, I believe, but anyways, I want to ask. Um, since you are in the government, in your idea, how much money does all the government perceive in taxes every month? Do you have an estimate on that? Hmm. Maybe $100 million? $100 million. That is a lot of money. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, right? I mean, we pay taxes for everything. I mean, if you buy, I don't know, you, well, I don't want to speak about that because it's, it's a mess. Anyways, uh, what is, let me ask you another thing that is totally different. What is the best Christmas present that you have ever received? Mm, when I was a child, uh, I received a uh, a lot of of, of gifts and clothes and the uh, toys. Um, well, that was a a a fue hace mucho tiempo, verdad? Pero sí, es fue bonito, la verdad. <laughs> Okay. So all cool. those toys. Yeah. All right. If there was a toy that was more important for you? Mm, well, the remote, uh, remote car, no, I don't know how, the, how can I say? Yeah. Car remote remote. Car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, it was big and, <laughs> uh, well, I, I enjoyed that. Do you still have the car? No, I I give to one to I I 
se lo, se lo di a un sobrino, que, sí, a un sobrino, creo que se lo di. Así es. A nephew, all right. Yeah, there was a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Juan Roberto, for sharing. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Silvia Patricia. Maybe she's sleeping. Okay, let's see who else. It's Roberto Carlos. Hello. Hello, how are you? Very good. Ah, you are very good, huh? Yeah. All day. All day is a, a, a good day. Nice. Yeah, there is a saying in English that is another day, another dollar. So <laughs> that is happens. Is the expectation? Yeah, that is it, right? So, uh, what do you do, Roberto Carlos? No. Oh. accounting. This moment. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. Huh? What do you do? This moment. I know. Uh, what do you do? No, uh, what are you doing? But what do you do? Oh yeah, sorry. I I working in how to lie, lawyer and independent lawyer is my work is my profession is ah, uh, my career sorry and I work in the civil area and the family and administrative uh, case in. And another situation, more my strong uh, area is the, the notar notaria, the uh, mm -hmm. registrar, okay, and civil and family uh, work, and the administrative because I work uh, in a in a major, uh, no, it's a alcaldía, no the remember major. the city hall major, okay. Uh, I I involved in the in the administrative case and had held experience in that question. Mm, okay, interesting, very good. And let me ask you something. Uh, with the conditions that the country have right now, uh, that is very secure, very safe. How how do you how do you see that? Do you see in your uh, work that is better? I mean, uh, do you see there are less crime on the streets? Uh, do you perceive that one? Really, is it, the perception is that crime is very, is very low. Uh, in, in, me, in my case, in the, my country is, uh, we perceive the the, the security sensation, and yeah, I I believe that is a general perception in all the suburbs. and for me is a good uh, good politic, and but not is a good the form of the plan. Uh, for me, uh, the process that the government help to, to do for combat the crime is a uh, investigation and process uh, for the, the crime but in this case uh, is only the process not the investigation not the strong investigation and for me a future in the future uh, that will be a, a big problem because if you don't respect the rules of the process and the the um, la legalidad de los procesos, no recuerdo dónde sobre la legalidad de cómo cómo se dice en inglés. Uh, eh, the legal process. Okay, the legal process. Eh, if eh, you open eh, many many doors. Or the in the future, uh, the thing changes to favor of the of the 
uh, criminals. And because uh, if you don't have a system strong in the investigation, you can prove, it's very difficult to prove uh, that the person made that the crime that saved the Lord. For me, is the, the situation that I see uh, with a, a, a little uncomfortable for me, not this, uh, I, I believe that the hell is, is a, a weak, uh, the system is weak in, in this case, yeah, or in this point, for example. Okay, very interesting, very good. Uh, let me ask you something. Um, what is the most difficult case that you have worked on? For me, in the cases with the, uh, in the family, uh, when you separate the the wife, uh, Mary, this uh -huh. correct Mary, okay, the marriage, the marriage. When the marriage is separate, is uh, when I saw the child, and uh, the the expectation of their of they is uh, my mom, my dad, uh, it is broken the relation, and I. <clears throat> situation is the most complicated for the for the boys for the, for the child because uh, he is uh, the victim of or say uh, anything the victim of the decision of his parents and one case in specific uh, a child crying uh, because uh, the mother uh, Go with she uh, uh, audience in uh, in the judge with the judge judge was judge yeah. algo así no recuerdo la yeah. pronunciación yeah the judge okay uh, yeah the judge judge and I saw that the that the child crying and uh, because when out of the of the audience the uh, uh, the father say uh, okay. Uh, I see you later, and I go uh, go out to the house, and all uh, a history. So many complicated uh, in the case of the family, but then uh, I don't work the penal area. No, no work that. Uh, but for me, the 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 with the sense is more complicated because when you see a uh, cry a child uh, is is maybe broken your your uh, animal your animals and it's complicated for me okay yeah i know that those cases are difficult because i mean uh as you say, the victim is killed. So at the end, uh, the man and the woman, they don't get along anymore. They want to avoid seeing each other. But the kid, they, the kid loves the mother and loves the father, right? So it's, it's difficult. Yeah. And uh, I have good. a, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I was going to ask you, is it possible for a man to keep the the kids, or is is almost impossible for a man, uh, or, or it's only the woman the ones that takes the kid. Uh, the, with the care of the kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's uh, it's depending because with the judge, uh, is uh, made the the revision of the condition of the age parents. And if the mother health uh, condition, a good condition, and not only in the economics, uh, in the social and the psychological, and another uh, condition uh, is with the mother, but the father, the, the, the father, sorry, uh, health condition, uh, uh, no drink, no smoke, uh, another situation. And health condition, economic better uh, is more is many possible that the that he 
take care of the of the kids. Uh, but this uh, really is that it's most possible that the mother take the the care of the boys uh, maybe 16, 7 years. So seven, eight years for for uh, for there uh, is uh, the boy held the uh, can can say uh, I wanna go with my my father, I wanna go with my mom, or wanna stay with my mom, and the judge uh, take special about the case and make the revision of the condition of the. The, in the house, the, the the place where the mother or father live, like in another situation. But this, in this case, no, this not this exclusive for a mother or for a father or for a father. Is the uh, but hell uh, the possibility? Mm, only, yeah, only that hell prove. <laughs> Only that help to prove the condition it is the, the the key the the situation. Mm, okay, interesting. I didn't know that part. And uh, what is the best uh, the best Christmas present that you have ever received? That I give. Uh, in your I'll life. Say. Oh, for me, uh, receive that 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 you receive the the best. Present, yeah. Christmas present that you receive. Yeah, for me, it's uh, a many many experience. Uh, for example, uh, a visit uh, with a uh, that I held many years that I uh, that I don't sell, and yeah, coming with a a, a present, a little present. But uh, for example, uh, the last year uh, is a a, a shirt, uh, a shirt that I that gave me one. Uh, I don't remember this holy holy song is I have. No remember is that the name mm -hmm. of the. But they receive uh, a, a present uh, of the person that they don't wait, that can uh, take the time for, for sales and film uh, one present. But uh, very good for me. Uh, if in this year, uh, not is in, 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 hold, in Christmas, not uh, in my birthday. I received the, the visit of my mom. I had 24 years that don't stay with she. And she lived in the United States and she came coming uh, to El Salvador for first time in 24 years. It's a, a big emotion. It's, in this year is the best, or the best, sorry, the best gift that I, that I received is the visit of my mom. Oh my, that is a very good present. That is nice, interesting, very good. Thank you for sharing, Roberto. Okay. Uh, let's see who's missing. Ana Hernandez. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I very well. Nice. Uh, tell me, what do you do? I senior auditor at taxes. In my interest, so you like numbers as well. Yeah, uh, um, I work at Deloitte, big for audit taxes. <laughs> okay, interesting, very good. And uh, what is the best Christmas present that you have ever received? I the the presents the my family. From anybody, the best present that you receive in your life. Um, que podría ser? Uh, let me, let me see. 
I I think uh, Mexican food. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is Mexican interesting. Food. Mexican sí, food Mexican and food. you and your sí, and your have. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and what is your favorite? Your favorite Mexican food? And tacos. 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 That is it. I really tacos. like birria tacos. Those are uh, sí, sí, sí. delicious. It's delicious. I'm, I'm hungry already. So <laughs> I, I didn't know that you were going to say something like that. That's very interesting. <laughs> and uh, what do you do in your free time? Um, the free time I. The the walking, okay. walking, I I read him, feel, and listen music. What kind of books do you read? I the book sub uh, uh, the leadership, okay. leadership and what? superation. Okay, interesting. And what kind of music do you like? I um so souls. Ah, souls. so you, you like to dance? I see. I I I dance. All right, the, right. the party the party Christmas. <laughs> ah, you, you're waiting for that one. Nice. <laughs> when are you going to have that party? Uh, at uh, eight. A December, a yeah, December. Very, very soon, right? I, I, I checked that many companies, they are going to have the Christmas parties on the 8th or in the 16th, any of those. So okay. very yes. interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. And uh, perfect. Thank you for sharing. My pleasure. All right. One more. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, Blanca. Yeah. Hello, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Nice. Very good. And tell me, uh, what do you do? I am working in the... I am a council, excuse me. Ah, okay. I'm nice. also in the company, the company um, to, to dedicate is um and um, yeah how how do you say the uh, yeah the bear no no bear is it's chicken chicken ah okay the 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 one day ah okay good uh, and tell me uh what is the best Christmas present that you have ever received. In you, in my my family, the the meeting 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 to my family, mm, okay. my my sister, my brothers. And do you meet every Christmas? Yes. Mm, okay. Very good. Very interesting. Thank you, Blanca. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Very good, my friends. It was a very good practice tonight. So we spoke about many, many things. So let's check the attendance and then let's go to bed. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Good. Monica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. 
Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Good night. Good night. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. And uh, Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Tomorrow, we will see you again. And uh, have a good night. Rest very well and dream in English. Hello. Hello.